when we have the means and we have the time to make certain uh, sacrifices or give of ourselves, it's our responsibility. Although Prince Charles and Camilla will be in Toronto today in honor of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, our story tonight will be about a different queen. This one could be found in the Indigo Bookstore, releasing her new book, The Tale of Two Nazanines. In her story, award-winning human rights activist, Nazanin Afshin Jam McKay, shares about her true intentions for seeking the crown. Miss Canada. Her desire was to use her spotlight to bring change. Little did she know that an email regarding a woman on death row, also named Nazanin, would spring her into heroic action to change not only the course of her life, but also save the life of the other. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming out here tonight. Um, it was quite incredible walking through the Indigo bookstore and uh, seeing my, my books in real life. I can tell you it's a, a long way coming. Tonight is her book launch debut. Her story of hope is in demand. She just finished being in the studio with George Strombolopoulos. It's been a long day for her, but she seems always ready to give of herself. She engages in meaningful dialogue with her fans, always keeping her advocacy for children and women's rights at the core of her conversations. Among the crowds, I spot one of her biggest fans. It's the Honorable Peter McKay, her newlywed husband and Minister of Justice. He is hesitant to speak to me at first, not wanting to take the spotlight off of Nazanin. I ask him about how he feels about his wife being in the spotlight, and he starts to open up. Um, this book is the culmination of much of her life's work, but uh, it really is just um, the start of more work and more causes that I know she wants to take on. And I mean, to pardon the pun, but there are more chapters that she will write in her lifetime, I have no doubt. And so I, I am very supportive of her, as, as she has been of me. Uh, I feel blessed uh, to have her in my life. Uh, and we met around this particular issue of her desire to help save Nazanin Fatahe. And so it was that first encounter that led to uh, this point in our lives. And uh, I'm, I'm just overjoyed that she is uh, fulfilling her dreams. I have a new solution. It's called progressive revolution. And someday... Nazanin, it's such a pleasure to have you on this very special event. I'm sure that uh, the launching of this book has been something you've been planning for many years. How do you feel right now? I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed by the support and the love, really. I, mean, I didn't expect this big of a turnout. You know, I mean, there are definitely difficult times working in the human rights sector. There are dark moments. But when you hear that people are being inspired to take action on causes they feel passionate about, then then you take a sigh of relief and you say, OK, well, this, this day is done. And uh, let's move on to the next. And let's work as a team to help more people. Nazanin, I've got to be honest with you. I am uh, don't feel very intimidated by many people, but uh, I'm melting here. <laughs> Not only are you gracious and beautiful, you're intelligent and, and you're warm, um, and somehow I'm thinking I'm sitting in front of a superwoman. Do you ever feel... Week. Definitely. I'm a human being. I'm not a superwoman. There are moments where I feel a weakness and uh, feel like um, in the you know, dark days where uh, these issues are so, as I said, heavy and um, grave that uh, you want to just curl up in your bed and cry and, and feel like, is there really something I can do? What I want people after reading the book, I don't want them to think you have to be a celebrity or a sports star or whatever to be able to bring attention to a cause or to make a difference. Um, one of the main goals of this book really is to instill in people uh, the knowledge and the encouragement that they can use their own talents and blessings in a way to help others. You have been able to accomplish a long list of accomplishments and um, it would drop anyone's jaws, really. What has been some mottos or 
beliefs that you've held that's allowed you to, um, you think, to persevere and be able to overcome and be able to be the voice that you are today? I think one of the first things you have to have is humility and understanding that you will not always win. You know, it's the it's the times that you actually fail and um, the hard times that you grow as an individual and you just work that much harder to persevere and to move your passions forward that uh, you're able to uh, do that much better the next time. Um, you mentioned it at the beginning, one mantra that I kind of keep with me is if you have a dream, make it a goal. But, um, I kind of use an analogy where um, pick by pick, if you're going up a mountain per se, um, when, you're, when you're at the bottom of that mountain, you, you might not even see the summit, but you're getting closer to the top and you're allowing others to come and move behind you and they might be the ones reaching the top eventually. But unless you take those first steps forward, those four steps up that mountain, um, if you say, oh, I'm just going to stay down below, well, for sure you'll never reach that goal. But we just have to try. I mean, they that's the first thing you can do is try. This is the end of a very... Uh, long lineup of signing and being so kind and gracious to your fans. I want to thank you um, for being here with us today and to share a little bit about your heart and um, on behalf of myself and our viewers I just want to congratulate you on this great accomplishment and thank you for continuing to be an inspiration. Thank you. I just want to say one more thing Bita. Um, I followed some of your programs and I see your your blessed heart, um, your kindness, and I want to congratulate you and to encourage you to continue what you do because I know you're working from the heart and I know you're following some of your dreams. So please, if, if you have that go uh, dream, make it your goal. <laughs> While Ms. Afshin Jam McKay is now focused on raising her new bundle of joy, the tale of two Nazanins continues to gain international attention and be translated into multiple languages. For Influence Media, I'm Bita Bardi in Toronto.